All right, what's up gamers? Jefficus here, and today I'm going to be reacting to a video that Tanner Lindbergh made reacting to a video that Mr. E made, and I don't think this video needs any further introduction. Let's just get into it. To be said that I had a recording of this ready, like the first- Let me pause right at the start here. So Tanner does this thing with OBS where he has the record button lag three seconds behind the actual recording. I don't think he knows that this is a setting in OBS that he has turned on. It might be a meme, I'm not sure, but I think it's fucking hilarious. First minute he uploaded this, the first couple minutes, but I, I, I deleted it and I have not been able to get a good take since. Okay, let's let's go, let's do this. Hey guys, Mr. Because I think this is frankly an incorrect and slanderous assessment what? of the, uh, the greatest thinkers of a generation. Frankly, ah. I, I think this might be an affront to the creator. Sorry if I... I seem a little bit down. I've just had a... Oh my gosh, yeah. So Tanner does this thing where he listens to everything at two times speed. If he could listen to something at like four times speed on YouTube, I'm pretty sure he could. Let me check to see what the cap is. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the cap on playback speed on YouTube is two. If Tanner could up that, he would, for sure. I've had a rough day. People have been being mean to me on the end. That's Being true. Mean. That's true. People on the I internet. never thought I'd see anyone else get this kind of reaction. True. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Oh I thought this is an exclusive to me thing, you know, oh solidarity, boy. brother. But uh, that's okay, because we got a build guide to go over here today. Uh, today okay, I like Tanner Lindbergh. Oh, okay. Um, if you didn't know, that's a secret class. Oh, that's building Tanner Lindbergh, let's go. It's really high precision. Well, I, I'd say it's actually more like a like a, like, like a secret character. The and I think the, the way you unlock this is by playing a little bit of everyone. Yeah. And uh, after you play a little bit of everyone, you know, eventually you just kind of turn into this. And aggression requires a lot of intensity to get full enjoyment out true. of it. True. That is true. For some people, it can be too intense. That is also true. A lot of people get burned out really fast. Um, I used to play myself. I actually have like almost, I think, like a half hour of playtime. So <laughs> half hour. <laughs> oh boy. You can pretty much say I'm the lesson master at this point. Um, but lately, through the cast, for whatever reason, <laughs> just hasn't been agreeing with me. If, that is true. If you know what I mean. So first, you'll yeah. I wonder what that could be about. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, this website that I'm on doesn't have the correct descriptions for these talents, so I'm just gonna read it out to you, and you can pick them once you've unlocked the class in game. Uh, okay, that's yeah. right. class I'm updated here. That is true. It is a uh, secret, secret fucking Street Fighter code, hidden, hidden, hidden secret boss character. Top at the top of the tree. We'll secret to boss character, bro. For sustaining our channel, and that is gonna be oh no the choice between four, this is my canon event four hour videos or twenty second clips. <laughs> uh, in Listen, I... okay, all right, all right. Hold on, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> oh pause, my gosh, pause, here we go. Pause, pause, here we go. Pause, 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 pause. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How the fuck do I get to my View my channel. You got okay, it, little bro. Go. Uh, you got well, it. The clips they uh they don't they don't do so hot, you know. Compared yeah, to like they're not compared shorts. to the to the long videos, they gotta be shorts. I, I I think I've kind of come to the understanding that quicker, more casual videos are just yep. kind of whatever for fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, and long longer, more actually in depth stuff is what people find very useful. Yeah. And honestly, well, they gotta know, be shorts. The reason why these are uploaded as videos and not shorts, can I can I make an embarrassing confession to you all? I don't know how to upload a YouTube short. Can you show me how to, like, oh my convert? gosh, dude. Can, can someone, like, please stop show it. me how to convert a oh video my gosh, like this into a short? No. It's literally just a... Okay, here's my, here's my confession. So, I have offered to teach Tanner how to make shorts. Because we've had a lot of moments where we were gaming. And I was like, oh, that would make a good short. And uh, he just is too lazy to download DaVinci Resolve. That's the honest truth. Fucking screen recording. If you want to learn, if you want to learn, I'm here. I'm here. I could teach you. Ignatus could probably teach you too. Ignatus in the Discord, that guy could teach you too. He's got DaVinci Resolve as well. I'm a fucking MP4. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got the cancer, huh? Yeah. That's what happens when you don't make <laughs> this shorts. Is fucking, this fucking is one cancer of the worst fucking you. videos I've ever made. The biggest shit post. Fucking shit post, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't think my attention span is oh, more casual. Um, I don't think my attention span can hold me into that full four hours. So I should probably Dude, that is uh that is true. You and uh you yeah. and a lot of people. You guys want yep. something to feel good about yourselves? Only uh only thirty six percent of people have an attention span longer than a minute. Yeah. And uh only about like, you know. Uh so this is actually why a lot of YouTubers will front load a lot of editing into like the first like thirty seconds to a minute of their video is to just try to keep people's attention span. Because once you break, like, two minutes and you've held somebody's attention for that long, a lot more people will try to follow through and watch the rest of the video. Maybe not for a two-hour video, but for ten minutes. Oh, yeah. 
Only about, like, this is when we start talking, like, more ogre and stuff. Only about 20% of people can watch, like, an hour-long video. I find that very fascinating. I consume more than the 20 seconds. I get more to stay in that way. Um, but any <laughs> that, dude, that's, that, oh, man, that's, that's true for a lot of people. A lot of people just want to watch, like, a, like a five-minute build guide and just copy whatever it says. And then, uh, then when they... Or, or a lot of people, truthfully, guys, truthfully... What a lot of people want to do is they want to watch a short. Here, see? Actually, here, let's just go to let's go to this. I'll just go to go to my channel here. They want to watch a Not short. A lot of people want to watch shorts. Like 157,000 people want to watch shorts. So 105k people want to learn about ogrens, for goodness sake. Freaking space marines, gross. Oh. They have Ugh. make something else they're like how do i make this because they didn't actually understand how do i make it anything they picked they just did what the guy how do said. i play the game true. uh tanner and joyer knows that, that the four hour is probably the more optimal if you can make it the full time that is true true uh, yeah, it's like a good book for the blitz ability down here we do want to say toxic outbursts uh where is it right here i'll have you know buddy buster buster wolf this video wasn't that toxic True. Fact, I actually had a lot of people say that they were expecting True. it to be a toxic outburst, but they were pleasantly surprised that it was uh, significantly more normal than they were. Expecting. That's actually one of Tanner's better videos. Uh, I think that it's it's kind of edutainment at its finest. Expecting, which for me is a big deal. All right, it's a big compliment. Yeah, for sure. It does some really good damage, and the best part is it has a really low cooldown. That is that is true. That is true. Especially the more the more autistic and more energy having you are, the bigger <laughs> your uh, your ADHD or whatever the fuck they call yep. it now. Uh, the more the more energy you have, the more you can. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you need to be careful with this though. Um, the ability can friendly fire, and so what will happen is if you're using it too frequently, you're gonna splash on your allies, and you run the risk of turning yep, into. Yep. And, and... Oh come on, that's not true. No, what actually happens? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is uh, shit like this? Someone uploads the their first ever video, and like literally half of the comments uh, mentioned you for no reason, and yep. then you get DM'd from the person and told how they had to delete like eighty percent of the comments that people left because they were literally just not stop talking talking about you that's yeah yeah it's actually uh it's actually an aoe taunt it's like the ogren's taunt or like a bardens taunt on the iron breaker and uh people just come out of the woodwork to uh randomly just throw shit at tanner uh that's what actually happens nobody wants that uh the other big choice as part of the tree is we have to choose our uh, the game uh... the other thing that happens is uh is people leave comments like this oh yeah where uh, unchangeable parts of your personality are the big thing that they hate but you know hell yeah the uh the dark tide community low-key pretty toxic you know easy come easy go the aura that we're gonna be using and for a while hell divers 2 was sort of the meta aura Ha, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm so happy the only thing about this game that I, uh, I oh said boy. was that it fucking sucked. Yep, here we go. It sucked. <laughs> Listen, man, I actually have quite a lot of respect for Mr. E for this, uh, for this because yep. he's one of the only people who did not jump ship on this game. I just straight up wasn't playing it at all, but, um, you know. He actually, uh, through thick and thin, was still uploading videos, so I, I have quite a lot of respect for that. There was a lot of, I'm not going to name any names, but there's like four people I can think of that talk about how much they love Dark Tide. but the moment the game dipped under like 2,000 players and this game had like 2 million, hmm, all of a sudden. I, uh, I don't blame content creators for doing this. I think a lot of people probably just got bored of Dark Tide, uh, especially like in the past year. And they just went to play other games, and they were just uploading content of games that they were playing. It is what it is. Hey guys, I love Helldivers 2, and I need to like pivot my channel content to keep it fresh. And then the moment the people- Oh yeah, yeah, I will say though, that with like Dark Tide, it's just challenging enough, just difficult enough, and has just enough build variety and great gameplay to where it's hard to quit Dark Tide for like forever. Like you're- once you've once you've gotten like a, a little little snort of the uh, the secret sauce here, like it's hard to leave the game and quit. Like you're quitting WoW or something. No, you'll be back. Uh, it's kind of like Vermintide, where you just come back and you play in like a future update or in a few months, so that you can get your hit again. People said Helldivers 2 sucked because of all the nerfs. Even though I don't see how like a 10, 20 percent nerf on a primary weapon that does like only 10% of the lifting 
uh, can turn an entire game from the best, you know, cure to modern uh, gaming. Oh, dog. Uh, I'm just kidding. I like dogs. I like animals. But, um... Yeah, cure to modern gaming. That's funny. Um, I think that Helldivers 2 lost a lot of its community because the game hasn't really innovated much since it released. A lot of the nerfs were probably just, like, the straw that broke the camel's back. But, yeah, it's mostly because the game hasn't really changed. It's still pretty much the same exact game that it was when it released. <laughs> anyway, so he, uh, you know, somehow like a 10, 20% nerf to things that you were hardly using in the first place made everything about a game trash somehow. somehow. And then it just so happens that when that, when that happened, you know, when all that they happened all came and back, everyone baby. decided they hated this game now, all of a sudden, those four people I'm thinking of, ah, well, you know, guys, Helldivers Come on 2, in, dude. I just, you know, I played it a lot. I just, Water's you know, warm. Hey, guys, Space Marine 2. And, uh, you know, they, they, were, they were getting a lot of views from that. Yeah, but Space and Marine then 2 as sucks. Soon as the lethal patch came out, ah, uh, guys, you know, I just don't think this game's for me. And then, oh, yep. hey, what do you know? Dark Tide is a bunch of players again. Let's go back to talking about that. Back into Dark it's Tide. Back like into the Tide. What you like Come on in. coincides with whatever gets you the most social media clout. Yeah, and you're like you don't actually care about any of these games. You know, um, the, the thing about Space Marine Two is that Space Marine Two is definitely a more casual game. Like it's definitely like an easier game, like a bust open a brew ski with the boys and play kind of game. And it was kind of difficult for that one week of hard lethal difficulty. The main issue was that it wasn't difficult in a fair way. Like, it just felt unfair. And when you have that kind of challenge, which is not how Dark Tide is. With Dark Tide, a lot of the difficulty is very fair. There are answers to everything. In Space Marine 2, when you provide challenge that there is no answer to, or the answer is annoying cheese, or having to play the game in a very passive and very silly way then people are going to quit. People are going to stop playing for sure. But I think the devs like nerf that into the ground and just sort of... True. Them. Big and true. Cliff. True. Um, and then sort of more recently, the choices come down to these left and middle ones. Um, it's Space Marine 2 or Dark Tide. And speaking of, speaking of, can I mention how, just real quick again, this video had like 40 something video. percent like ratio. And then I was after in that the, video. the lethal patch happened, it jumped up Whoa. like two, 3,000 views and also jumped up like 20% in the likes. Yeah. This video went from like 42% likes to like 59% like ratio, literally within like five days of this patch. You know, the, uh... same with the Elden Ring. That patch showed that the Space Marine 2 developers, Saber, they're kind of just taking shots in the dark. Like, they don't really know what they're doing, and they're just kind of completely relying on community feedback in order to balance and change the game, which is pretty concerning. Ring video. I, I said Elden Ring has the potential to not be great. People downvoted that to, like, 30%, and then, you know... Elden Ring was so good before the DLC. Reviews, and people were like, damn. Yeah, it's almost like it's not that hard to predict the future. Always yep. bet against the game. Oh, yeah. And I think at this point, most people kind of agree that Space Marine 2 is bland and kind of shitty as far as ours. Preach! Preach! Preach, brother, that game was never good. Preach. Fucking high five. That game was never good, dude. So, and Dark Knight is pretty much the meta choice here. Literally, the only reason I bought that game, just to play like with FYI, me. to play with is, me. like, literally, I had nothing else to do. I was wow. bored as fuck, and I said, no one who's going to play this is going to have a sports play background. Why don't I come in and snag some worlds first? Just uh, oh, pad, okay, the, yeah. pad the parse. Wow. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So, before we get to the abilities, we want to pick up this really nice talent here. Um, This is... Listen, listen, buddy. Habibi, Habibi, listen to me. Habibi. You should have used this note back <laughs> oh here, God. and you should have used it with this note instead of this note, because I'm always telling people to take this note. Yeah. Habibi, my yeah, brother. True. Mustafa Shala. Uh, what's it called? It's called Rapid Fire Takedown. And <laughs> That's a good one. And it increases the speed and accuracy of your attacks, and Tanner, as a class, has a really decent base court chance, so you can kind of bet that at least one of the attacks you're going to throw out is going to make the enemy contemplate killing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would be pretty, uh, you know. Like, every two seconds of action. Yeah. Oh, you can't get any <laughs> oh punk, <you>. dude. <laughs> Listen, man, I've been there. I've had people clip. Uh, you know, no, you want you want a good version of this for me? Where is it? Where is uh, it? Zealot? Find it. Uh, probably the worst moment of any video ever. Whenever oh, yeah. I talk about thy raft, be swift. In oh this, yeah. Because this is one of my first ever. And you get videos. it wrong. Um like like long videos. Uh -huh. And I like for some stupid fucking retarded reason, I talk about the node. As if the only thing it did was exactly what it said. Yeah. And like, it, no reasonable person would watch that and be like, "Dude, what? 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 
it 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 actually does affect gunners. And I'm like I'm like yeah. Well, he says that, no reasonable person. Talk about what- um, it, he says no reasonable person. What he actually means is no experienced person. Nobody who's actually used it in in matches. Because if if you're a new player to the game and you read the node, you're not going to know what the node actually does. Because maybe one day they'll make it do what it says it does. Yeah. And- it's just, uh, fucking just fix it. retarded, retarded, retarded. I can't wait to remake those videos. Or, uh, or they're just going to nerf Invocation of Death again. You know, they could do that too. The problem, however, with attacking too much with this talent is it does build up your rage meter. And if you go over cap, people don't like that. Hey, do you guys remember Rage Real Meter Asian Robot? I got to move the mic away for this one. Oh boy. And don't even think about listening to these motherfucking unsanctioned fucking content creators. Unsanctioned content oh, creators. He says a week before he stops talking about Dark Tide. So the uh, the thing about I guess like sanctioned versus unsanctioned content creators is I tried to add Straw Hat on Discord and never really got like a response, which is fair because I'm sure that Straw Hat gets like millions of people trying to add him or whatever. Um, but there is no way to get into the Dark Tide content creator program, as far as I know, because I tried. I tried to look through their website, tried to navigate for an email to try to reach out to. Uh, but as far as I know, I guess they have to contact you or something, uh, or there's just no way to get in. Because like someone like Mr. E here, Mr. E would be perfect for the Dark Tide content creator program. In fact, it would have been perfect for the unlocked and loaded update for them to get a whole new wave of content creators to promote the game. But there's just no way to get in, seemingly. So it's just weird. It's just weird, man. How do you lose a fight to a twink in a dress? Anyway, um, twink in a dress. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. After game lobby, you know, for, for for playing with that play style. Well, actually, you get a million comments on videos like this. People are like, "Oh my god, a chance to shit on this guy! Holy fuck, yes!" Oh yeah. But uh, you know. <clears throat> and then 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 the you cancer. have to listen to the mental gymnastics of how people will spend a year uh, shitting on you at every chance they get, and uh, you're actually the bad one, and you actually deserve it, and they are morally righteous. Yep. Um, you, know, you can dismiss them if you want, but sometimes that can be kind of annoying. Uh, but that is my YouTube. That is- yeah, that's that dark tie community, man. Like, the harassment is all out there. It's crazy. It's true. Disability on the left here. It's autistic screech. And it can have a couple different things. Autistic screech, dude. It's exactly It's so good. It's so freaking good. It's stress relief. It's very stress relieving to just be like, man, I want to talk about something on the internet that I think. Dude, if. if- <laughs> Autistic screech. If Mr. E didn't just earn your sub with that that joke, <laughs> I, oh man, I don't know. I don't know what he's got to do to earn your sub, man. It sucks. It is. You're, you're, it is literally venting and shrieking. Although the shrieking has more to do with the fact that this is literally my default tone of voice. It is. It this, is. Yeah. This is default yeah. inside voice Tanner Lindbergh right now. Oh yeah. Causes your enemies to suffer psychic trauma. And he also has this really cool augment that actually... That is true. <laughs> I mean, dude, have trauma. you not seen the, like, 50 Reddit posts about me that get, like, hundreds of comments? You guys know the one, like, Reddit mod on the Ogronomicon? That shit-ass guide who literally deletes, like, every popular... If a thread is someone like, I like Tanner, I think he's not that bad. And comments are like, yeah, I learned a lot from his videos. He deleted, like, seven of those threads. Yeah. But the thread that's literally a low-effort meme... Um, that got like a thousand comments that are like, fuck that guy. Oh, that's the one we keep. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. I got you. I got you. Th- this is actually true. And I never understood people's obsession with creating like a, like a hate thread, I guess. I don't know what, what else you would call it. Uh, hate discussion. Like, I don't know. Uh, I've never understood people's like obsession with creating threads like that on Reddit or on steam. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me you mr mr guide maker your time will come don't you worry i got you you realize, realize, realize your time will come to, uh, go and attack the, the target for you so that's the, hey uh, upper keystone. hey hey buddy i have you know i resent that comment this video had 170 <laughs> comments on it before i made mine yeah so you know what where is it where is it where is it right here i would say if 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 a thirteen thousand view video only managed to increase the comments you got by like you know like 15 percent Mm-hmm. I'd say that's a sign of a very not not toxic video. Yeah, we just it wasn't. Like it wasn't toxic. Uh, you'll want to take the perfectionism twenty five stacks augment because there's really no problem at all keeping the max stacks when you're playing. <laughs> it's actually it's actually aptly named. <laughs> it's actually aptly uh, named. That's great. Oh fuck! Wait. Yo, you can't get any better. I promise you. You're still not where you're at right now. You're a damn father. You're trash. You can't get better. Oh, I'm man. so glad I grew up with fighting games. Yeah. <laughs>
as Tanner. Punk is great. Her weapons, I actually don't have any good ones rolled up uh, for myself personally, but I do recommend microphone in the primary. Microphone, yep. the secondary. This is going to allow us to dish out. Well, if you want to know some good ones to roll on, may I recommend the uh, the Shure SM57? Yeah. Uh, it's studio That's quality. A good mic. It literally can't be destroyed, and you mm -hmm. can set it all up for like 120 bucks. Oh, yeah. And uh, for keyboard, may I recommend the like Waterloo special, the the Womanu, the one that's like $300. The Womanu? And has the, the thing where if you hold A and you tap D, it just automatically lets the D override as long as you're pushing it. What? And uh, Valve, the legitimate like devil of gaming, one of them, uh, decided the to make CSU gaming. ban you for doing that if you don't turn off the software. Even though fighting games have literally had to deal with this fucking problem for like seven years now. And it's like five lines of code to just make oh, the game force so that it only accepts the the current like the first input and it doesn't yeah. let the second one override it. Literally, a patch that can be made in an afternoon by a single guy. Instead, they're gonna put the onus on you and fucking ban you. And <laughs> speaking of a uh, speaking of cheating in games, though, um, the AI cheats are getting crazy. The fact that you can have an AI cheat in your monitor which is undetectable by a game that you're playing because it's just your monitor is absolutely insane. I don't know how the future of competitive gaming is going to look if uh, if someone is using their own hardware. It's going to be nuts. Damage when people are up close and listening, and then if they escape... That is true. That comes with having a very loud... Uh, what was that one comment I got? A uh, Hold on, I have it saved up on the other monitor here. An arrogant, whiny, bitchy, gay fag... Yeah, this is fucked up, bro. Type of voice. Ah, skull emoji. Some comments finish them off. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> There's been some recent speculation about this class, and, uh, you know, after the last uh, video was put about, you know, the patch was, uh, came out, that uh, Tanner had kind of lost the edge that has made it so good in the meta. That is lost the edge. I, I <laughs> far, far less aggressive. Sometimes I need to just, uh, you know, I got I got to disrobe and let loose, as they would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think yeah, anyone yeah. says that anymore. I think that is, that is old people speak. Um, I don't think that's the case. If anything, it's becoming more well-rounded and versatile for more situations. And well, I'll, ta I'll take the compliment. Sometimes you just got to accept the compliment. Like I said at the beginning, I think Tanner is really powerful in the current meta. Like I said, I, I think it's just like, it's just better edutainment, to be honest. Uh, I actually, I like this Tanner arc. I understand that it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Um, but if you do want to unlock this class, it's really simple. You just have to subscribe to both me and Tanner, and then go in the comments of this. Oh, uh, I mean, hey, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna complain about me. <laughs> yeah, 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 give me the subs, yeah. What the fuck? To me, this Tanner Lee. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Did you, do you? Mr. E, I pray to thee, give to me this Tanner Re. Do you, like, even know how to YouTube, bro? You're <laughs> do you know how to, to YouTube? Say, like, <laughs> Mr. E rules Tanner Lindbergh is a gay retard who should kill himself. Oh, my gosh. That's how you actually, like, uh, yeah, yeah, hashtag, there you go. hashtag that shit. And then, um, 3 a.m. that night, Tanner will actually appear behind you. Uh, probably oh. with a columnist, you know, and uh, and Scryer's gaze ready, and you know you're gonna get fucking destroyed. You is know, this grinder? Always be a gem. You have to say it three times in the mirror, or else you die. <laughs> anyway, I can't wait to see the comments on this video. Oh yeah. I I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of people who don't understand the joke and are just like, yeah, fuck that guy. Well, no. I yeah yeah. What a satire. Let's uh let's harass this guy. I'd like to see you fuck yourself, buddy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, guys, go ahead and head over to Tanner's channel and head over to Mr. E's channel. Make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you like the video. It's it's pretty entertaining. Uh, I need to make sure, too. Okay, good. Hey, perfect. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that is it from me. As you can see, the drama is fabricated. It was fake this entire time. But uh, yeah, goodbye.